I told you we were going the wrong way. I was right. <laughs> Ethel, I was right. <laughs> That's a good one. Welcome, folks, to the Family Product Channel, where we offer free and honest product reviews. I'm Alex. And I'm Liz. Are you just going to stay there the whole day? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and we hope to make your family life easier as life gets less mobile. Oh, immobile. I say debilitate. Yeah. Debilitating. Sure. All right. All right. So, Three things you should do. Okay. Oh, well, you're on the gun. I was waiting for you. All right. Sorry. So subscribe to us. Um, company, send us your products if you have anything you want us to review. And visit us on... Good reach. Um, Ethel. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook and Instagram. Family product Family channel. product channel. That's all you need to know. It's right, right there, folks. Here we go. All right. For those grandparents out there, those grandparents you want to come to your kids' sporting events or you mm -hmm. want them to come to the graduation or you Not want Not even them... just grandparents. That's right. That's right. Not sure. even. That's okay, a good I'll get out of there, there so you can see it. Or you, you just want them to be around. You want them to come yeah. downtown and drink and party with you. This is the way you can bring them down there. Hey, some grandparents get All out right. and do it. All right. All right. So. Did you say the title? No, not yet. Oh my god! Into it. This is the Hugo Navigator Rollator, trans and transport chair. Mm -hmm. it's two in one features here, and we're gonna get into it. So, yeah, let's, I think we should describe yep. what Show the difference is between a regular. This is a four wheeled walker, so this is just a rollator walker yep. rollator, same thing. So it's set real low, obviously here, but it's, it has a seat on it, and you can sit and rest. But sit the, and rest. Yes. Not no. To yes, use it. yes. That's what you're getting at. Some people use it as some people like, like to a use it as like a wheelchair. Around. Yep. Or they'll ask somebody to push them while they're sitting like that. But that's where you're gonna back up. You're gonna hit something, and these aren't designed to roll around in. And yeah. You're gonna go. You're gonna tip right over. Head over tea kettles. That, that's what they say, Ooh. ain't it? Yes, it is. Something like that. All right. Something so like we're gonna that. get that out of here. We're gonna explain why <laughs> this, this one is, is a, better. A better option for somebody who maybe can walk a nice distance mm -hmm. but can't walk the whole distance and right. needs to rest or you know you can think of many occasions where somebody needs to be wheeled maybe they can walk on a nice surface but like grass or something sure they need to be wheeled so right now as i wheeled my dear wife in here someday she's <laughs> going to be in the nursing home i'm going to be <laughs> wheeling her around probably be the other way around she's going to have then. the physical issues but the dementia that's going to be right here with oh me oh my gosh so, so i wheeled Already her in. happening Right now we are in wheelchair form, so yep. you saw me wheel her in here. Um, it has it's got footrests that you can just swing yep. into place. They can go back and they're out of the way and you just fold it up. Yep. There's just a button on the side here that you push. Sure. The seat and is now they're out of the way. The seat is actually quite padded. Yeah, it's padded. You know, I wouldn't want to sit on there all day and there's also no. a, a handle in the way you wouldn't want to sit well, on that. Well, that's the thing. This isn't a chair that somebody's going to be sitting right. in for prolonged. It's a transport chair. Right. So. That's true. That's a very good point. You're full of good points today. You must have got a good night's sleep. I did, actually. There's a little um, storage bag here. A little basket. You can put your cigarettes in. Oh, my gosh. Bush lights would go in there. <laughs> How many could you get in there? A nice 12 pack, probably. Oh, yeah. So... Wouldn't stay too warm, but so that and then or too cold. <laughs> <laughs> stay, oh my god! Okay, you're gonna have the or, dementia. Yeah, I think it's other. And around. then the backrest yes. flips, so you got to make sure it's flipped this way. Yep. So it's a, actually pretty. And it basically seat. there's a symbol here that's like a sitting position. That one should mm -hmm. be on top when it's sitting. If you flip it over, then you're in the walking mode. That's right. Another good point. I think this. I would. I didn't measure exactly, and I don't know, but I'm guessing that's oh. about an 18. It looks like an 18 inch wide to me. 18 so. or 20, probably. Okay. It can hold up to 300 pounds, um, so that's a pretty good. You shouldn't have been sitting there. I yeah, I was cutting across. <laughs> just kidding. He's so sweet. I'm just messing um, with her. The whole unit. I'm just gonna keep going. Go ahead. <laughs> the whole unit. It's pretty lightweight for everything that it does. About 17 pounds. 17 pounds. So, yep. and I'm going to show you. Not too bad for a transport. I'm going to show you fold it up and how you can just pick it up, throw it in the car. Sure. So, um, should we convert it or do you have well, any? Just wait, just wait. Um, so, we talked about the padded seat and then it's got the nice, comfortable backrest. So, it's it's pretty like firm, but it does have a little give or bend mm -hmm. to it and that is also padded. Sure. Um, and then when you sit, they have like these are armrests right here. I mean, yeah, they're very short, slight, yeah. but they're there. Um, but so again, it's armrest. just for transport. And then the handles, too, are also really nice. They're kind of like built up. So mm -hmm. if you're having 
you know, issues with your so the, grip at all. So right now the person pushing you, it's nice for the person for, pushing you. For pushing you. or yeah. when you're using it in the four-wheeled walker position. And then the brakes are very easy to put on. Sometimes you really have to push on those brakes to get yep. them to lock. These are easy. Or even unlock is the worst. Yeah. Trying to get that, if you have a weak grip. Mm -hmm. But this is actually a very, very we, easy. We need to show them how to get it in the, the four-wheeled walker position yet. Okay. So all you do, as long as the leg rests are out of the way yep. like they are, you flip this over, mm -hmm. and you're in four-wheeled walker position. It's as easy as that. You just make sure um, that the handles are adjusted to your height. Mm -hmm. I'm about 6'2". Um, th these go up a little bit higher yet, so I think if you're about 6'4", maybe it would yeah, be six, like four, six, about five the max. Yeah, 6'4", 6'5", probably pushing it. So. So. Um, but you can still use the seat in this position when you're in a yes. four-wheel locker. So if you're tired and you're just, you know, by yourself, turn to take a rest. Mm -hmm. um, you can still do that. Yep. Make sure those brakes are locked, folks. <laughs> and then... It's got little reflectors on here, too. I didn't even realize You're that. still, you know, you still shouldn't probably maneuver around like no. this. But I'd feel a lot better about this yeah. than, than the other style walker. Mm -hmm. The wheel, the thing I love about this is the wheels are a lot bigger. Why don't you bring that one over quick? For, but, like, uneven terrain, grass, rocks. Yeah, I mean, you can just tell from the wheels from are the side, so much bigger. And the difference. Just, yep. Yeah, they're, they're much, it's much better made. Yep. So and, I'm going to. Um, easy go to push, too. Like, it, it, the wheels swivel, so it maneuvers very well. Yeah, look at those. Look at it swivel. Should yeah. I keep going? I so, I mean, easy to push. I mean, you That's didn't have a hard time pushing me in, did you? Well, <laughs> reflectors here for safety purposes. Look yeah. at that. You know, I mentioned that. Let me fold it up here quick. So, yeah. You'll see this little orange latch here. We'll call it a latch. So you just fold it up like so. Mm -hmm. Bring the latch over. And then there's a handle. You can pick it right up. Yeah. Throw it around. Throw it in the car. Throw it here and there. <laughs> Oh my. 17 pounds. I so mean, it not takes, bad. Yep. It's a, li a little bit bulky. I mean, you have to have a good amount of space to put it into a car or something, mm -hmm. but it it's not like it's... 300 bucks. Is that worth it to get... It's $206. I thought you said it was 299 Okay. Wow. Well, Went it depends down. on where you look. It was anywhere from about 200 to $300. On the Hugo site, wasn't it more? It was a little bit more, I okay. think. Yeah. Okay. 206 to $300. Is it worth it to get grandma to the ball game so she worth can watch it. her grandson? What's that? Worth it. That's right. Yeah. So this will keep grandma, grandparents involved or, you know, somebody that may have, you know, had a debilitating accident <laughs> or something like that. All right. Whatever. If you're looking at me like I'm a zombie, we better get out of here. Thanks, folks.